Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to do my best to explain how variables work. Uh, first thing is, what is a variable? It is a placeholder for specific data that you want to store. Uh, it basically can be used to use it, use the data in further parts of code. For example, if you wanted to uh, test if the block could see the sky and then you wanted to store it in, say, a string and then, um, I don't know, use that string later on to display some sort of text, uh, like a message or something like that, then you could do that. Um, but uh, Basically, it's only limited to storing numbers, uh, characters like text, or uh, true or false statements, which are also called booleans, and numbers are also called integers. So um, basically what we're going to look at, there are three types of, of variables that we can uh, use. First one, you might have noticed that there is global variables. Uh, when creating a new global variable, what you want to do is keep the first word lowercase. So if I wanted to set it to something like var variable um, is raining, then we would do that. And then if we wanted to set it to a number or whatever, we could do that. And then there are three different types of world sessions or, you know, like world, uh, world scopes that that's what it's called so um, session is basically that only runs during that one game session world I think is specific to the um, it's either the uh, current world you're in or it's the save I can't remember which one's which map is either the world or save as well so I'm um, not too sure on which one. Uh, in the future though, uh, in 1.9.1, these will be, these will also support client uh, side variables, so it will constantly update as well, on, very similar to how sessions work. Um, but currently, uh, if you want to um, get the variable to update, then you have to pass it through a session variable and then go and store it into say a map variable or world var variable, but that will be changing in 1.9.1. Uh, now, again, we covered the logic. Logic is basically true or false. Numbers are uh, number variables and strings are text. So we're just gonna leave it like that. You click okay and it'll create it. I already have one set here to test if we can, well, to be used to test uh, if we can, if it's currently day. So we'll be testing that. Um, in order to test to see if it's day, what we need to do is create a procedure, have it on a uh, on world tick update. So this will constantly check if it's day or not. We need to check to see if it's day. And if it's true, then we'll set the global variable to true. And if it's false, then we'll just set it to false if it's, else, if it's not true. So, And then we would save that. And then we needed to create a GUI. So this GUI basically just lets us know our variable name in order to create the variable. What I've done is just went in, created some basic text, selected our variable is time day, and added it to our page here. I don't need two of them. I just deleted both of them, so that's quite ingenious. Okay, so I'm just gonna add it again. So it's gonna test if it's basically day or not, and it's gonna output true or false. And then I added some extra text above it, just saying is time day. We needed to open up the GUI, so I'm using a keybind uh, for the R key, so we'll be able to pass the um, open GUI with provided player when it's pressed, so that will be what's happening when we press the R key. And I have a block uh, for a tutorial that we'll be focusing on MBT data. So if we click on play, then we'll start up the world and I'll show you basically what a global variable is. All right, so we're now in game. Uh, if we press our, our uh, key, then you can see that is the time day and it's set to true. 
So if we set the time to night and we click R, then you can see that it's set to false. So that's how global variables are used. Um, it's very straightforward. You can also use strings if you don't like the true or false words. Uh, you can put something like yes or no using strings instead. Um, it's completely up to you how you want to set up your actual uh, output for your variable. Um, now the other way of doing variables is through local or MBT. I'll be covering how to do MBT because local variables are pretty straightforward and use similar method, but uh, local variables target um, stores the data in all of the current blocks uh, or the block type. And um, that would work for local variables, but if you want to actually store the data in every specific type of block in its location, we need to enable the blocks in, in inventory. Uh, we don't need to worry about um, the uh, slot size or anything like that. We're not actually going to be making a GUI for that. Uh, we don't actually need any of those enabled either. We're just going to click next and we're going to add a procedure. Uh, we're going to call this uh, on block right clicked. Uh, click OK. We're going to make a quick if statement. We're going to test if uh, let's see. Block can see sky, and we want to offset it by one. So, whoops. Add that there, add that there, add that there, and we need one. So, if the block can see sky one block above, we're going to be testing if the block above can actually have a direct view of sky. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to block uh, properties. We're going to scroll down. We're going to use a uh, true or false statement. And then we're going to go and give this a name. So uh, can see guy keep the first uh, section always lowercase it's a good practice to do that you might run into errors if you don't and we're gonna also duplicate that and we're gonna set this to false and uh, we want to use the same variable as well and then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new if else statement this is gonna run separately from this other one and what we want to do is output a text to the player. And what we're going to do is find a block, get block, and can we, no, we can't just directly put it onto there. So we want that. Oh, we don't even need that one actually. We need this one. Okay, so we're going to copy this variable here, we're going to paste it there, and then what we want to do is if this is equal to, so we need to go and add this, is equal to true, and that's what we're going to add right there, if it's equal to true, then we want to give the player a provided message, this block can see sky. And if it's false, then it will be in, in the else statement. This block can't see the sky. And we're going to add procedure, click save. And then we're going to start up the game. OK, so we're currently in game. And um, as you can see, we have our block here. If we click on it, it, it says this block can see sky. However, if we go over here and say we put something just above there, as you can see, this uh, will say this block can't see sky. 
we go over here, it will say it can see sky. Now how it's basically storing the data is the data stored in this particular location right where this block is, uh, rather than local variables, which will share the variable between all blocks. So if it was a local variable, it would be synced between both of these blocks here, rather than this block basically holding its own data. So this one and that one over there will have two different variables right now. This one will be set to false, where this one will be set to true. Um, outside of that, um, local variables are pretty similar to set up like how um, global variables are. Uh, it's not too complicated to set up a variable. It's mostly how you code it in to make it do what you want it to do. Um, you generally want to use conditions and if statements to test for some sort of condition. May it be if the block is above or something like that. But um, other than that, uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.